The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good Monday morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 830 a.m. Monday morning, kicking off the first day of June. Hope everyone had a good weekend out there. Lots going on in the market right now, though. You wouldn't know it by looking at the charts. You got the S&Ps right now. We're negative one point, trading at 3,000 and few. 3,040, NASDAQ futures negative by 27, that's about 3 tenths percent, trading at 95.32. You got the Dow up six points, trading at 25,381. A lot of political unrest, a lot of, unfortunately, violence, rioting, uh, a lot of peaceful protests over the weekend as well. So many stories going on, we'll kick things off. You see the action in the S&Ps, here's where we traded. Friday action, you climb to a high to end the month, quite a run. S&Ps climbing up there, we actually ended out at about 3,057. That is the 445 print. You back it up to where we were as about four o'clock, sitting right where we are now. 3,039 overnight. We were as high as 3,055, and then quite a sell-off across the board. You saw the S&Ps at almost 4 a.m. this morning. You go from a price tag of 3,055. We're looking at 15-minute bars within the span of 45 minutes. You're down at 3,020, 35 points, just like that. But guess what? We've clawed back uh, now, approaching 20 points of those losses. And what did that? story have to do with the headline before we get into the charts China halts some of US farm imports threatening trade deals so a lot having to do with trade you had the press conference with President Trump on Friday uh, things pretty calm in terms of what could have happened there in terms of the China and the trade deal and what the US is going to do excuse me what the US is going to do market accelerates higher but you have even uh, today, China may be escalating as Chinese government officials told major state-run agricultural companies to pause purchases of some American farm goods, including soybeans, as Beijing evaluates the ongoing escalation of tensions with the U.S. over Hong Kong, according to people familiar with the situation. So state-owned traders Kafka and Sinograin were ordered to suspend purchases, according to one of the people who asked not to be identified. Chinese buyers have also canceled an unspecified number of U.S. pork orders, one of the People said private companies haven't been told to halt imports, according to one of the people. Nonetheless, the markets across the board, you see the drop in the S&Ps. Let's jump over to the charts. And there's your S&P drop. I mean, just huge moves to kick off June trading. We'll see uh, if we can continue the volatility from May. You're looking at a VIX right now floating at around 29. NASDAQ 100 on that news trades from 95.80, down almost 100 points. We're now trading at 95.19. Dow 30 trading from 25,500, down almost 300 points on that news. We're now back at 25,351. There's crude oil, crude above $35, 35.23. Gold was trading higher. You back it up to 2 a.m. Gold was above 1760, currently trading 1744, and the Euro US dollar right now 11110. In terms of what else you have happening around the market, we'll jump into stocks with action today. Lots of headlines out there. And uh, Eli Lilly, why not? That headline, I had that up. So you got Eli Lilly, they're going to start human trials of a potential coronavirus treatment. Eli said on Monday, patients have been dosed to test its potential antibody treatment designed to fight COVID-19 caused by the new coronavirus. Those shares coming in, LLY. And you see the spike higher from about 152 to 156.40 so far this morning on that news. Cody, so makeup. Cody named chairman, CEO, with Harf becoming the cosmetic maker's fourth CEO in less than four years. I believe Cody's the company that purchased uh, Kylie Jenner's brand. She was also out, not sure if you saw, maybe we'll pull it out with a big Forbes story, talking about even falsifying records to become a billionaire. She's not quite a billionaire, as they put it. But uh, but don't worry, because it's like eight or nine hundred million there for Kylie Jenner and that makeup brand. The announcement comes as Cody and KKR signed a definitive agreement to spin Cody's hair care brands into a separate company. Sixty percent for KKR, 40 percent for Cody. Cody shares through all of this. 
So there you see up a bit from 360 to 389 in the longer term. Look at that drop, 13 to 3. I'm still sitting pretty close to the bottom of the rung there for Cody shares. So Amazon got an upgrade. Morgan Stanley raised its price target to Amazon 2800 from 2600 saying it expects faster forward growth for Amazon even if overall consumer spending weakens. That's a strong statement. Faster forward growth even if consumer spending overall weakens. Firm has raised its earnings estimate for Amazon while maintaining its overweight rating. Amazon just been a powerhouse through this. Uh, 2442, you're basically unchanged. I mean, crazy, we're up 50% off the lows you had at the low of the market. Uh, 2440 right now for Amazon shares, the king. Zynga, so Zynga announced an acquisition. Turkey-based mobile game producer Peak, $1.8 billion in cash. Peak is the maker of the popular Toy Blast and Toon Blast mobile games. I'm not familiar with those. Separately, Zynga raised guidance for the quarter and full year, not including any possible contribution from the Peak deal, ZNGA. There you see the pop there from almost nine dollars to ten forty. Bid ass nine sixty eight right now is where Zynga is trading. So Caesars, Vegas, Caesars plans to reopen its Harris Las Vegas casino this coming Friday with initial consumer demand on the Las Vegas Strip following casino reopenings much stronger than expected. We'll pull up. Caesar shares in a moment, but uh, Las Vegas Sands and Win. Now I pulled them up. They're not really much changed. These two, um, and it's talking about Macau revenue. How about falling 93.2 percent in May? Another way of saying that is that they did 6.8 percent of the business that they did in May compared to last year uh, for those two casinos. We'll start it off with Caesars, though. They're coming on Friday. Things look to be. On the demand side in Vegas, very nice. 1139, you're up to 1190. We're sitting right now at 1149. And then you have the two over relying more in Macau. And as you see, you come out with those numbers and they're already factored into these stocks. These stocks have been pummeled. It's remarkable. You get the number 92% business down year over year. But you just went from 150 down to 35. We're sitting at 83 uh, and pretty much unchanged on that news. And Las Vegas Sands as well. You see, unchanged, we're gonna open at about 48, but you traded from 74 to 33, sitting at about 48 right now. Delta said it's working with its pilots, Union Just to, oh, okay. you I know what? Siri's talking to me somehow on my phone. What's up with that? Okay, here we go. Uh, Delta said it's working with its pilots union to avoid furloughs of about 2,300 pilots as it tries to match pilot staffing with reduced demand. Airlines, I mean, the logistical nightmare of trying to balance all of this when basically customers just cease to exist from 60 down to 17. We're trading at 25 unchanged on that news. Checking out the VIX as we wrap up this first segment. You saw the negative action in the market on the China news. Uh, in terms of not buying commodities, you saw the VIX spike to 3050 last night at about 4 a.m. You're sitting at about 2962. Checking in on the S&Ps right now. S&Ps, there's your acceleration on Friday. And let's back this up for a little context because the high on Thursday, 3065, didn't quite get there towards the close on Friday. Didn't quite get there overnight as well. And uh, for some context on a monthly though, so that you can see as we wrap this up, couple strong months there in the month of April, the month of May. I mean, look at that month of May. Finishing near the highs. We're above 3,000. We'll see how June holds out. June 1st trading. Stay tuned, folks. We'll come back. See what else we have on tap for Monday trading. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Markets uh, trading a little bit negative. NASDAQ futures now negative by 33, S&P negative by 2, Dow basically flat. On a longer context, just to see where we are, putting these, I mean, charts. Starting things off with the S&P, all-time highs, 33.97 in the futures, February 20th. We're now flirting between a 618 and a 786 retracement. You jump to the Dow. We're basically oscillating for a few days right around the 618 retracement. And then the juggernaut of them all. How about at the NASDAQ? I mean, check that out, right? A slow rise even from the 786. We're just uh, mellowing right near a 100% climb back. All the losses from over 3,000 points. We're now approaching 3,000 points from that low of 6628 only March 23rd, you're talking about barely two months, the index has risen almost 50% from those lows, clawing back all that in the NASDAQ. In terms of what else we have happening around the market, so Friday we get the jobs report, non-farm payrolls for the month of May. For April, pulling up the numbers here, I have the story, let me jump over. So in the month of, we'll pull it over so you guys can see as well. Jobs report, Friday's release, May jobs report, likely to be the focal point of the week. You're gonna see a lot of trading and volatility once you get to maybe uh, late Thursday, Thursday, you're gonna be waiting for that. Doesn't mean there can't be a sell off on Thursday ahead of maybe a potential big number. They're gonna be looking for 8 million jobs lost in the month of May. That is down from, I believe it was 14 million, where are we? Uh, excuse me, no, down from 20 million the prior month. There we go, 20.54, and they're looking for eight this time. Economists anticipate another historic decline in unemployment, so unemployment expected to rise to about 20%. Uh, weekly jobless claims peaking March 29th. They have come down on each week, but we're stealing, still dealing with 2.1 million weekly jobless claims. The, the largest on record ever was only 700,000 prior to this. So even if this curve begins to flatten, which it is, uh, to put it graphically on this chart of where weekly jobless claims the prior record ever was, uh, right around down here, like 700,000. So if that takes a long time to flatten out around that time, still a long time until those jobs are 
you know, we should be seeing positive, not weekly jobless claims. Nonetheless, Friday's numbers should be a big one. Other action in terms of earnings, going over some of the companies to look for. There's your economic calendar, there's why I weren't the earnings calendar. So Dick Sporting Goods, they're out with their numbers before the market tomorrow. CrowdStrike, gaming, and then Zoom after the market close. So Zoom, they're rolling out new encryption, jumping back, why not? I know I had a headline for them ready, Zoom. They're gonna begin rolling out stronger encryption to prevent so-called Zoom bombing. Other people jumping into people's private Zooms uh, by uninvited guests to conferences, Reuters reports, however, that the move will only applying to paying Zoom accounts and not to the company's popular free accounts. I'm not sure that's a smart business decision by Zoom. Um, they have had quite the run up. I think they just had a second offering to raise God knows how much money, a billion dollars or something like that. Um, <laughs> And you're trading, I mean, this morning, you're, you're, you're trading higher. Let's pull up the chart. There's your ticking higher all the way up to 185, 183.49. We were just at 150 last week. I mean, crazy. You're up more than 20% from there, but longer term, talk about an acceleration. We were just trading before all of this started at $70. We're now going to open at 183 on Zoom. Big numbers there. In terms of jumping, other companies to look for. So Dick's Sporting Goods as well. Dick's. You know, during this uh, during this quarantine, I actually I bought a pair of sneakers from Dick's. Been doing some walking, running, and it was pretty cool. They said they basically had curbside takeaway. I felt like I was like at Outback. I ordered it. I checked in when I got there. They walked out a pair of sneakers, put it in my car, and I was gone. It's pretty good service. From fifty dollars down to thirteen, but talk about a pop. We're trading at about thirty six thirty one by thirty six oh six. Dick with their, Dick's with their numbers before the market tomorrow. We got retail, American Eagle out tomorrow, uh, excuse me, Wednesday, Campbell Soup, Canada Goose before the market open. Thursday, Broadcom, AVGO, DocuSign. Dave White has talked about that company a lot in terms of what may be super well positioned to capitalize off all of this. And uh, look at this acceleration, folks. You trade at the beginning, the fall off from 91 down to below 70, and then talk about a run from 65. And we're going to open even higher at about 144 right now. Even last week, putting it on a shorter time frame, from 120 to 145, just from Wednesday trading action, just doesn't stop. And it makes sense. There's really no reason in this day and age uh, that anything needs to be signed in person. You can sign just about anything online. And I imagine that is the pitch of a company like DocuSign, and it's showing in their chart up to 143. Quite a pop. Broadcom, AVGO, let's take a look at them as they're out with their numbers. 290 right now. Some of these charts are just amazing. From 331 to 155, and uh, we're going to open at about 291. Talk about a V-shaped pop. Haven't made it quite back up there, but the chip sector charging on. All right. Other companies with action so far. Um, Google. So Google postponed the unveiling of its new Android 11 mobile operating system. It had been scheduled for Wednesday, but amid the outbreak and protests across the nation, Google said now is not the time to celebrate. Those protests, those riots, uh, some tough deals. And, and you look at uh, Amazon, Target, Apple, they're going to scale back businesses in cities hard hit by the protests. Can't blame them. Um, Amazon owned Whole Foods, Target, Apple, other major retailers, temporary closing stores across the country as protests against police violence continued on Sunday. And those protests, a lot of peaceful protesters out there, you got to encourage that. At this time, people are hurting, but uh, turning into riots, damage, violence, all of that, not okay. Retailers such as Whole Foods and Target adjusted store hours. There's curfews going on. I have friends in Atlanta, many curfews out there. So some of those retailers dealing with it. You have Tim Cook out with an Apple, uh, and out with an email, excuse me, to Apple employees. Many um, many CEOs, rightfully so, having to respond, uh, especially when you're dealing with physical locations like that and people maybe being at risk. And that's good that they're not putting them at risk. So United, they're going to cut 13 of its officer positions as part of a restructuring, so trimming some of the fat at the top. It also said we'll add some international flights back to its network in July. UAL is their symbol. And we're basically unchanged. We're still flirting at the bottom. I mean, these airlines, um, 
it's going to take a while to get back to the bustling. Imagine the bustling airport. The airport was always craziness, right? I mean, the the check-in line, you stop, you get a you get a sandwich, you get a coffee, you get a water, you get some snacks, you buy some gum, you buy a magazine, you buy a book, uh, you sit down, you wait in line to get on the plane, you wait in line to get to security. It's going to take a while until you're you know comfortable to the point of just packing people over and over and over and then you're waiting in the terminal then you're waiting in the line to get in the plane then you're in the plane and you're in the the, the line in between the seats right uh, just keep all that in mind when you when you make a high risk I would say anything high risk investment trade gamble on any of these let alone the cruise ships all of those you had Boeing saying potentially one of the airlines might go BK um, and any airline is going to say we are not going BK until the moment they go BK. Checking out on VIX 29.69, markets S&P 9 is 6, you get the NASDAQ negative 40, all the markets slightly in the red, but we were dramatically lower on that China import news with commodities. Stay tuned folks, come back after the break, finish up the program, see what else we have on tap for Monday trading, first trading day of June. I'll be right back. Back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Bam! If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information.
Welcome back, folks. S&P futures negative by seven at about 3,035. You see, though, in about the last hour and a half, since 715 bar, we were as high as 3,047. The S&P has now slipped 12 points, giving up some of those gains that low overnight. To keep in mind, we are now about 15 points in the S&Ps away from that spike low. When you put it in the NASDAQ, that spike low in the NASDAQ last night. You're dealing with a level of about 94.81, and we're now pushing, uh, excuse me, the low, yes. Yep, 94.81, we're close, we're closer than I thought. That's what made me pause for a second. 94.81, we're trading at 95.19, so you're talking about only 40 points in the NASDAQ from that spike low that we had. You heard the commercial over the break, folks, giving a plug to our man, Steve Rhodes, Mastering Probability. I, it, the ad mentioned it, folks, it, folks, I don't think even Steve gets enough recognition for the achievement he had. Number one ranked market timer in 2018 by Timer Digest, number two in 2019 by literally decimal points, folks. Uh, a remarkable achievement, doing well in 2020 as well. Of course, check out Mastering Probability. Lots of great subscriber webinars come with that service. A 30-day money-back guarantee, so you got a whole month to try that out. If you don't like it, money-back guarantee, no questions asked. Check that out. You can still gain access to Basil's webinar that he did on Thursday night. Sign up for the opening call as well. And Gold Report, Gold Be Rocking. We're going to finish it up with Gold. Gold Report out every Monday. We'll Tom's going to be issuing a new gold report literally in the next half hour. So check that out, and we'll finish it up with gold. Gold, quite a plunge, uh, excuse me, quite an acceleration, I was going to say, overnight, 1760. For a little context on gold, we're dealing with 1788. We're right near that upper end of the spectrum for gold as we inched uh, and see what happens today. But 1744 right now as we send it off to our man Larry Pezzavento. Coming up next, folk, next folks, with Trade What You See, Fibonacci 24-7 as well. Check them all out. 30-day money-back guarantee under the, under the newsletter tab. Larry puts out an amazing report on Sundays as well. He's sending out reports with new trades already today. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pezzavento coming up next. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with with Tom, live programming all day at TFNN June 1st. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesimento coming up next.